Jennifer Aniston, Sandra Bullock, and Sean Hayes got chaotic in the kitchen. The 54-year-old actress took to her Instagram story on Wednesday to share a sweet throwback video of her pals baking from a previous party. Why, why does it say it has to be exact? Yeah. Or there, it has to be exact. Yeah. We're at one step away at now. I'm, I'm folding it in. Folding oh, nice. it in. Folding oh, it in. That's what he said. That's what he said. Vanilla. 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 And the bill. Get the pumpkin. <laughs> the later gram of the actors turned bakers was in honor of Sandra's 59th birthday. Besides the fun glimpse of their baking skills, Jennifer also posted three photos while wishing the Miss Congeniality star a happy birthday, with the first pic of Sandra drinking coffee out of a morning show mug, giving a thumbs up, and Jen wrote on the pic, Happy Birthday Sandra La, revealing the sweet nickname she has for the Oscar winner. In the second image, Jen shared a group photo that included the friend star, her longtime bestie and co-star Courtney Cox, and the birthday girl, penning We Love You with three red heart emojis. And in the concluding snap, she ended the tribute with a pic of Sandra and a friend, and wrote so much. Jennifer isn't the only friend of the Lost City actress who wished her a happy birthday. Ryan Reynolds celebrated her B-Day by posting a hilarious and rather risque clip from their hit 2009 rom-com, The Proposal. In the scene, Ryan's character Andrew and his boss Margaret, who is played by Sandra, accidentally run into one another while naked. Happy birthday to the inimitable and stunning Sandra Bullock. For your birthday this year, I got us both intimacy coordinators and an HR department and clothing. Ryan quipped in the caption. Access Hollywood also celebrated her big day by going into our vault and playing our 1997 interview with Sandra, where she talks about Speed 2 and her friendship with Keanu Reeves, and much more. Speaking of Keanu, you've had some some pretty uh, amazing leading men. You know what, I've you. really lucked out, and you don't think about it while you're working because you see them as like normal people who are fellow actors, but when you go into malls <laughs> and you realize who you're working with, they're like, oh my God, what was it like to kiss Keanu Reeves? Oh my God, and you're like, um, okay, hold on. <laughs> you know, I, I've been, not only were, were, you know, I've had such a great, you know, you, you look at Richard Harris, Robert Duvall, you know, Keanu, Jason, you know, Matthew. Sylvester. Uh, Sylvester. Sly, who was, by the way, one of my favorite people to work with in general, all across the board. And at the end of the film, he said, if you can work with me, you can do absolutely anything. Because he'd put me through the ringer. I was like his, his he was like my satanic older brother. <laughs> he was just a, but he, um, he was, he was so incredibly good to me and nice, and I was so scared because I just come off of Wrestling Artist Hemingway, which was a small film, this gorgeous film that I did, and um, I was in the midst of a seventy million dollar huge action future. Was a futuristic film, you know, Joel Silver production, which, you know, uh, it was something I totally didn't understand, and he knew I was scared, and I just here I am, method actor, going, well, this she wouldn't really say this, and I'm like, it's the future, shut up, say it. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> so you learn how to, you know, I'm trying to sneak in the miser method, and they just want the explosion to go off. I never had to wait for a camera to come up and the explosion to go off and then say your line. Everything was always character motivated, and this was, you know, other things motivated. And he was very, very, very kind to me, and, and just funny. How, a good man. how important is work to you? How much a part of your life? It's it's a little too important, I think. At this, I mean, it, it is everything right now. I mean, I, I've always said, when the, my priorities change, when I have a family, when I become married and have children, my priorities will shift drastically. But I can have a child on one hip and, you know, messing in a film with the other. It just won't be as great. That's why when I, I set up the production company, I'm, I'm setting up things, stories that I love and I'm passionate about that have nothing to do with me that are stories that I've always wanted to see and tell, but where I'm not in them. And I can still be a part of the creative process, but not be responsible for telling the story. Um, yeah. Is it hard to find balance? Do you struggle with that? Right now, the balance is perfect for me right now, but once, what, I, I, I feel pretty harmonious. I feel, I feel like sometimes I'm way too at home at work because if I'm sitting by myself for a week, I go nuts and I have to be productive. That's why I you know, rip down another wall in the house or find another fixture that belongs in. You know, I, I feel like I need to be doing something productive. Um, but uh, just work ethic to me in general is very important. I feel very, very driven by that. But not to always work, but just to, to be productive, I think.
When you look at the Sandra Bullock career, no matter how far it goes, one timeline will be speed. How yeah. much has your life changed? It, it, it changed, it changed dramatically. Before it was a slow progression where everything, you saw what you worked for. You auditioned, you auditioned, you auditioned, usually it's three, you screen test, you didn't get it, you got it. Audition, 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 clean it. One speed happened, all of a sudden this luxury happened, which to me is still uncomfortable and fearful because people say, here, do this script, and, and I can look at these scripts, and, and you, know, you, you say, how do you think I can do that? Because I can't do this right now. I might be able to do this in a year, but there's no way. And, it, it, and I don't want it to become sort of an ego thing where like, oh, of course I can do it. I have to keep check of myself because, like I said, my, my steps are smaller than, than most. And, and um, it's, it's an uncomfortable thing. It's an honor to not have to audition, believe me. I mean, it's a part of that process that's incredibly grueling, but there's also a sense of accomplishment because you earned it. A lot of times I don't feel like I've earned, and I need to feel like I've earned it. And I think that's why I've gotten into the production end of things because... I was responsible for putting it, you know, getting it started, going through the mess, because that's where the mess is in pre-production. It's not once you start shooting. That's damage control. That's the mess, and I want to be part of that. So I think it's a sense of uh, feeling like you deserve what you get rather than having something handed, and then everyone else does all the, the work, and then it becomes successful, and you're like, I had nothing to do with this. I wore the wardrobe, and that was it.